Oh yes, I knew Patsy. Really? Yeah, I got some pictures of her relatives here. Um, you know, she used to work up the street too, you know. Up at John Scott's store, and a little place beside it, that was a soda fountain where she worked in. We would entertain for, say, the Lions Club or Kiwanis Club, and um, Patsy would sing country, and I would sing pop and then tap dance, a chorus of it, of the song. And we did that around, and we entertained at variety shows, too, at Hanley High School, several, in fact. Now, when I was younger, um, Patsy Cline was not as famous I remember her funeral, and there were just cars lined up everywhere, and that was a very sad event. She was just getting at the top of her career when she was killed, which was very unfortunate. But that also meant, you know, people were just beginning to hear of her, and country music didn't have quite the same level of popularity you know, that it has today. Yeah, that was quite an amazing event. Over the years, as her music has been re-released, that's made a big impact. And again, people are delighted that she's from this area and would be thrilled to see the museum come together and be able to make it a larger prominence. When the city celebrates Patsy Cline's birthday in early September, right around Labor Day, we have people coming in here from not only all parts of the country, but from all parts of the globe. We've had people from here from Australia and the ongoing popularity, you know, of her music that has truly affected the town and has made or has inspired people to come here and to remember her. Before her death, Patsy did come back to Winchester to serve as Grand Marshal for the Apple Blossom Festival. She was one of many famous names to hold that title, people known the world over. Winchester's list of Apple Blossom Marshals in the mid-century reads like a who's who list of Hollywood. Bob Hope came twice to crown the queen of the festival and ride in the parade. Actor Van Johnson was here. Ed Sullivan. Hopalong Cassidy. Lucille Ball. Elizabeth Taylor. Even baseball great Mickey Mantle, and another famous Mickey, came to Winchester. I think probably the uh, greatest public relations uh, instrument we've had here has been the Apple Blossom Festival. Because uh, I, I drove uh, Bing Crosby in the Apple Blossom Festival parade. Mary Ann Clouser had participated in Apple Blossom when she was a student. She later had the opportunity to serve as executive director of the festival, and during her first year in the position, President Gerald Ford's daughter Susan was to be crowned queen. We couldn't believe this was a happening, you know, presidents coming to our little town, you know. And they asked, the, they asked for five miles of rope to rope off the parade. One of our vice presidents, Dick Rush, got us rope. And then it was security up and down the parade route. And, and I was in there late working, and I got this telephone call. And I said, the man said, uh, do you know where the president's plane's going to land or the helicopter? I said, no, sir, I do not. And... Um, well, what time is he coming in? And I said, I have no idea. You know, at that point, I wanted to just get my work done and go home. You know, here it's midnight. And uh, so the next day, right at the door waiting for us were security people wanted to know if I recognized the voice on that phone. Well, there's only one way they could have known or had. They had my phone was evidently tapped in the office. 